stuff going on. I had to be able to catch up with that brother that had been through some negativity, but it looked like he doing his thing today. Okay. So what's up, bro? My name's John Kim and Shabazz L. I do the Shabazz Report. I've been knowing you for a minute. State your case. Give me a little love. Give me a little Because I got the video camera going on. I want you to state your case, man, so I have it for the record, man. For the record, but, everything is going fine. Everything is going to be all right. I feel sorry for a lot of the people that um, have been going through a lot of stuff and whatnot. Rihanna, I got to go through all that. I got to go through Kick a blank, a lot of stuff that's going on in the world today. Yeah. But justice is going to prevail. Specifically with the police brutality case with you over in Westover, brother. Right. I'm, I'm, let, let, let's, because I know I want to cut it short and get straight to the case because I do litigation myself. I did the hate crimes case down in Charleston with the Megan Williams case, and I got access to various lawyers and so forth. I know you got a lawyer, and that's the point that I want to raise with the interview with you. It's because we need justice. There's another case that happened with the sheriff's department uh, down in Nicholas County. Haitian brother was coming through, okay? And they pulled him over and uh, uh, bullied him, told him they was, told them, him that they, they was going to whoop his ass and did it. Now, he didn't get beat up as bad as you did, but still, you already know about Nicholas County. I want to put it on the record, right, because I, got it. I had an incident even with myself over in Westover that I videotaped. I had a video camera all the way back to 2007 with my own self. This is why we are, we as black men are in support. I want to check your case and pay attention. Who's your, what's your lawyer? Who, who's your my lawyer's lawyer's name? name is, her name is Beth LeBuff. Very good lawyer. You're okay. looking great, sir. Thank you, sir. You're getting, very, so you're getting compliments and stuff. See, very good lawyer. Very strong and independent and whatnot. And what she's telling me is, is that all we need to do is Stick together towards the, the, um, the unjust that this took place in Westover. The officers both need to be fired. They shouldn't be on the police force because they already have records. As right. we know, they already have records, long right. records. To where is that? They should be. I seen where she brought that up in her filings and so forth, which let me know she's about justice because rarely do you see a lawyer bringing up, going as deep as to bring up the past records in the filing of a civil suit against the police officers. Right. So I, I got to commend her for that. I don't know who she is. Her name is Beth Lebowski. Uh, it, right. And that was a very good thing that she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, as far as my case, it's still, we're, we're, we're getting ready to hit the federal court thing. We're starting to, the process is about to begin now. Okay. It's been a couple years. They haven't offered you as like a settlement or anything? Any not yet. Of? Not yet, but I'm not really worried about the settlement. Okay. I'm worried about the justice to go make sure I, that another young black I, I man feel. or woman or poor white person don't, don't get, get attacked beat. like they just got like I did over there. West. Did they know you? Did they know you, brother? They knew me. They the knew, uh, knew no, me. Hold on. Years. Did they know you or know, know of you? They know me. They know you. They know I'm going to get up and go to work and not cause no harm to nobody. Okay, okay. They know me. Well, see, they, it, it, it seems that they're attempting to criminalize you, like or demonize you, as they always do black men. You know, that's why I seen you get your suit on. I say, look here, bro, let me interview that brother at his best. Yeah, well, that's what's going on. Right? You know what I'm saying? I hope saying? everything works out, but we're going to see how it goes down. Make sure you get a fair one, all right? We'll stay in, We'll stay posted. This is Shabazz report. You know I still got them incense and oils, too, man. You know that, I know right? You <laughs> You know I, I do, that. bro. Where okay. the wheels at? <laughs> Man, so I think I got some more on me right now. Let me cut this interview short. I, I, I know you. This your, this your people? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. Friend. Your best friend. Okay, okay. You got a lot of support from the Burger Town community? Let me ask you about that. Yes, I do. Any of the pastors come out, the, the preachers come out and support. Who, who, who you got of of significant name that, that showed support for you? Show, let, let me drop some names. Danielle Walker. She, I... Spoke to Miss Walker. She's called me already. We already spoke. Uh -huh. She said if I need anything or anything, to call her. I have her number right on speed dial. Okay. So she's been there. She's been there. She's okay. Been supporting me with the over there with the community in Westover as well. Very strong woman. Very good woman. And you from Westover community, right? I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But you've been living over in Westover for a minute. Let me ask you about another case real quickly. Then I'm gonna let you go. A while back, there was a church that was burned over in Westover. OK, initially uh, there was a black church that was burned over in Westover about maybe three or four years ago. Uh, 
One of the judges recently, about two years ago, one of the local judges came out and said that he felt it was a hate crime and the chief of police over in Westover covered it. I'm not saying it, but the, uh, the judge that said that was, um, what's that guy's name? I'm getting ready to tell you what his name is. Oh man, I forgot his name. But he come out and said it was a hate crime. I want to know if you heard anything about it. Are you familiar with the case? I'm not familiar with the case, okay. but I know the chief of police over there, well, and that same chief of police, Panico, is yeah. the one who justified the beating in that troop. He mm -hmm. justified it. Right. He yeah. said that that was okay for that to take place. I read but the we article. both know that they weren't near for me, mm -hmm. so why, why am I being beat? Right, 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 right. right. So you called, no, yeah, I don't, don't want to talk too much that. about this, but let's say this, right? Okay. You were called looking for help. According to the newspapers, you call looking for help. They claim over a over some type of domestic situation to deal with a girl some, that was unruly to get her out your house, something right. like that. Yes. So you called them for help. I did. And it turns, and you end up getting a, end up getting a beating as a result of it, right. which is outrageous. Right. Which is outrageous. Which is crazy. And sends a message to uh, grassroots people that we need to be aware of doing those so, things like that, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is grassroots media where we want to give you an opportunity to speak your truth on the level where you get an opportunity to do it, okay? Okay. So I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a end this interview at this time and get back in touch with you, brother. All right, hey, man, peace. Hey, man, be good, man. All right, Doc. All right, hey.